Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one's for Doom Patrol, Season 1, Episode number 8. Doom Patrol. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I want to start with uh, featuring a couple of the comments from Episode 6. There's only five, so this will be quick. Each and every one of you get featured. So, uh, first one's from Robert Hillman, who says, This show is so dark and tragic, yet crazy and funny. LOL. Also, Mr. Nobody is ruthless. Agreed. Yeah, he, he's a little, you know, he's top notch. Um, next is from a longtime subscriber, Havoc6280, who says, Yes, the pit boss, the guy from the racetrack, is the same guy who raised Cliff's daughter. So, from Cliff's perspective, not only did he bang his wife, he also stole his daughter. That's why he freaked <laughs> out. Accurate. I don't know about stole, but okay. I mean, it pretty much is how it is. Like, she thinks that that's his real dad, you know? Yeah, that's true. Okay, and that makes sense. That is the guy that we've seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. So, and then, um, Webhead2099, using his skills of <laughs> stroking that ego, uh, says, RJ always wears the best shirt. Look here, man. You beat a fire right now, son. <laughs> So I'm talking about Webhead 2099. So, and yeah, the guy Cliff was mad at the same guy who was banging his wife during the racetrack. Uh, next comment is from longtime subscriber Civil Nation 7. Oh, yeah. Who says, I'm glad I professed my love for Rita to you from the start. Love that you love her. Love that yeah, you love her. Yeah. I do love her. No, I, 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 I like, think she's a great character. Yeah, I absolutely love I her. I like Rita too, though. That's, that's good. Yeah. I'd be glad when she found her foot in it. She's going to probably be fire. Yeah. Um, Nightfall Protocol says, I can I cannot wait for you to watch episode nine. We're one closer. Well look, we're on episode, episode eight. eight. <laughs> Alright. So Get obviously obviously you're trying to say episode eight is okay, but episode nine is it's gonna bring be better. It in. Yeah. So, right, so well we're gonna check out episode eight right, right now. Everybody's like great. So episode eight's gonna be boring. <laughs> you're so stupid. <laughs> so obviously episode eight is trash. <laughs> I'll just force myself to watch this show right now. I don't know why somebody would say that. Okay, this, this next one y'all gonna watch. Like, whatever. But when you get the nine, though. Nine, I'm gonna be Ooh, so cool. It's gonna be so good. Cool. When you get the nine. Agent Wilson, what's your 20? Did the whole town disappear? God damn it. It Fuck. did. It disappeared. So it keeps disappearing, so now that guy's stuck on it. Yeah. Doom Manor. Your service is compulsory. Compulsory? You agree to anything we want to do to you once you sign up. Your body belongs, belongs to the United, United States. States government. She said everything was cool beans. Cool beans? Oh, God. What? Whenever Jane's feeling particularly low, this one persona manifests and runs off to some ridiculous fantasy life she's created for herself. She's by far the worst of the 64. Who? Karen. What is it? She's Karen. a love-struck psycho stunted by her obsession with rom-coms from the 90s. If I had to guess, I'd say she's on her way back to her leading man right now. Fred, I know you have no reason to take me back. Yeah, it's raining. I can't guarantee <laughs> that things won't end up the same way they did last time, but the one thing I can guarantee is that I will love you forever. There's no Danny Street in Springfield. According to this, there is. And someone there knows something about Niles. <laughs> the word on the street is that you're friends of Niles Carter. What? Who told you that? Danny did. Who's Danny? Oh, John, is your pattern is low? Danny is all around you. Where's Danny you travels all over the world, picking up those of us who have slipped through society's cracks. We call ourselves the Dannysons. The Dannysons. Oh, my God, Danny! I love you, She's going to kill me right now. Great, <laughs> cool. hey. right? Now Whoa. you're willing to throw it all away on that trash witch whore? Whoa. Whoa. Trash witch whore. Harsh. Right? I need you to help me lighten the mood. What? No. Darren Jones Darren is getting Jones. close. Maybe that was that guy we saw. Yeah. Who's Darren Jones? Sideboy, you go look him up, man. Oh. Look, that's the same thing as his thing. 
Darren Jones is the one who was taking him and is like, hey, you're a soldier, sir. The capsule, yeah. I guess he grew up to be like still working for the FBI or some shit. Was that the one we just saw in the truck? Yeah, that ran out. Was like, where you go? Yeah, that's him. He older. How did he not know. age though? He is older. Oh, he was older. This is the mirror. This is like 50s, 60s. This is like 60s. I know. Yeah, but so that he, guy should have been like an old man. Extraordinary. Right, right now he's probably he's probably like maybe 20 right now. 22. Tell me about Ellsworth. Yo, Danny. What's the Bureau of Normalcy? It's a top secret government agency run by a bunch of demented zealots. They stomp out anything they deem to be aberrations. And you know this how. Bring it in. Yeah. <laughs> fucking savage. What are you to do? Shut up. It wasn't easy yanking that twat off the fucking driver's seat, so we have to make this quick. Get us the fuck out of here now. Do it yourself. Is it that a power Yucky. she has? She makes people like her? Yep. Yeah. You want another beer? Thanks, hon. Don't choose. Is that her power? That you I think it's her power. It's convincing? No, Just like, choose love. Yeah. She makes people fall in love with her. Oh, shit. Yes. Oh, my yes. God. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, she got the oh, eyes, God. though. Oh. Cliff though. No. Cliff ain't left either. Cliff ain't left either. Aww. Oh, he came back as a robot, baby. Baby, this is the cutest thing yeah. ever. Then get up there. I ain't scared. And then get your ass up there. Y'all got Mr. Sandman. It's from 1954. That's the song that the only one I remember. Sarah that's what I, I would think. I know, but that's what I would think. Mr. Sandman, bring me a drink. Look, don't worry, Larry, I got you. Song, right? Sing it for the people like. Oh. Oh. He ain't even did it. I don't sing. Aww. What was all that? What could have potentially been a thing? That's sad. It's the beer on. They're here. You gotta say, I'm with the street. I'm, I'm with the, the street. street. <laughs> so then what do we do? No, this this is not who you are, Morris. You're a man. This place, these people. No. You don't get to tell me or anyone else who they are ever again. I am proud of the person I see in the mirror. And I am dusted. The only thing I am not is scared of you. Oh. Didn't your mama tell you? <clears throat> Hey, nice hate girls. Never lay your hands on a woman. Mm -hmm. Go home, Darren. And don't ever come back here again. You go back to the bureau and you tell them Danny the Street is off limits. Uh, maybe I'll put you on a step. I'm already on it. Tell them Captain Trainer sends his best. Mm -hmm. That was not happening. Would you give me away? What are you fucking not? Come on. This is the most important day of my life. What do you say? You have incredibly psychotic eyes. Oh, we just forget. This is. <sighs> We're leaving. Please go, Don't fucking judge me. Oh my gosh, babe. Man, I never had the strongest shit. Sorry, Ducky. <gasps> Wouldn't stop. <sighs> oh, Ducky, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm so sorry. I would never hurt you. Jane? Hey, Jane. I'm sorry, Jane. Hey, it's me. Come on, Jane. 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 Wait, what's happening? She can't change to nobody? 
can't change to nobody. All right, that was episode eight of the Doom Patrol, and Jane is stuck in. It feels like it feels like um somewhere from uh what's the movie Get Out like the same yeah, visual she, like she's, she's like down. To down... The... To the down under, or whatever, or whatever it's, called. it's called, yeah. That's, upside down. Or some no, shit. the upside down is Stranger Things. Yeah. So. <laughs> Something, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, that's definitely the visual I got. But I'll say, leading up into that point, I don't know what that means. We're just literally gonna have to wait till the next episode to figure that yeah. out. But I thought this episode was so much fun. I absolutely, absolutely love the concept of Danny the Street being a whole like yep. person. Um, I like the whole concept of. I absolutely loved when we saw Larry singing that whole portion. I just thought this was like a very yeah, it was fun, definitely unique, heartfelt yeah. episode. Like I was yeah. thoroughly entertained all the and way through. And how the hell now know all these things are going on? He got his secret just like Nick Fury. He just know he just been around so long. He get he know all these things is happening popping up right now. He needs to it's have crazy. like the box like Agent Coulson yeah. has. You know, like we need the box yep. with all like this. But now it makes sense why he made um, the robot. Because, I mean, I guess maybe he thought at some point um, Jane could have Karen. the ability to, yeah, control other people, but not him. Yeah, so. which was very smart writing, too. Yeah, I absolutely love Karen's introduction Rom to her character. Com. I thought that was super great. Um, and then having like the, the the power to manipulate people to fall in love with her, so yeah. like those those rom coms. Because I was like, even in the rain, I was like, why would you go for this right now? Yeah. But we didn't see the whole like uh, uh, spell at that yeah. point. We didn't see it till later on the episode. I just thought this was a really fun episode. Um, yeah. I'm very intrigued and interested to see crazy and crazy. what's going to go on with Jane and how we bring her yeah. back. But as far as like a standalone episode, I thought it was really good. And now we were introduced to the normal theocracy or whatever the case is, yeah. uh, which is, a, again, another layer to like what Larry's gone through. Yeah, so. and like I said, this is a uh, season one is a build up. All this right now is a build up. All these episodes is going to be a build up for them to like find themselves, work together, yes. become a team so they can ultimately have a battle. And I think they've done a really the good end. job this season too with like there's no throwaway episodes where it's like they just stuck that in there, which we sometimes see right. in some seasons. Everything actually builds yeah. to the character. That's far. So, yeah. That's far. So, for real. Definitely, I thought, again, thought this episode was a lot of fun. Yeah, squad I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Doom Patrol, season one, episode number eight. And until next time, people. Yo, this lady gon' keep it real. Gonna tell you how I feel. Don't give a fuck about no hope, cause I really got that sex appeal. Gonna tell you all y'all niggas. So hoes keep talking shit. But if you come and fuck no bitch, you gon' get your ass beat. Ain't got